Have you ever just wondered why doesn't God just show Himself? Why doesn't you know it? Why doesn't He just make it crystal clear that He's real and that He's there? I know this is a question many people wrestle with, including Christians or non-Christians, and it can feel quite confusing. Especially when you're in a very tough season in your life, you want answers, you want, you know, reinsurance, you want to see him with your own eyes. And I totally get it. And you're definitely, most certainly not alone in asking this question. So today, that's what we're going to be talking about. I want us to dive into this subject matter on why does it feel like God is hidden sometimes? And what could be the reason he doesn't want to show it? up in the sky or speak audibly to us like he did with the people in the bible so without further ado let's dive into this topic matter the first subject we're going to be tackling on is faith is more than sight first let's start with something that might be hard to hear at first but stick with me here it's because faith is more than just seen with our eyes the bible tells us in 2 Corinthians uh, 5 to 7 that we walk by faith not by sight faith isn't about what we can touch see or you know physically experience it's about trusting in something bigger something deeper trusting in god we can't always see uh, who is always there think about it this way if god just showed himself in a way that removed all doubt will we still have the choice to believe in him you know to seek out for him or to have a relationship with him by our own free will faith ultimately gives us the freedom to choose god to seek him because we love him and not just because we've seen something with our own eyes if god was always physically present it will remove the element of choice you know of pursuing him from the heart and god is always in our hearts he wants a relationship with us not out of fear or obligation but out of a genuine love and trust the second topic matter i want us to tackle on is god's presence is everywhere even when we can't see it now i want to address something really important just because you can't see god doesn't not mean he's not in the present in fact he's actually everywhere the beauty of creation the love we can experience from one to another even in the quiet peace that sometimes washes over us in the hardest moment that is god ultimately in slams first 19 the one it says the heavens declare the glory of god the sky proclaims the work in his hand in other words what this verse is basically saying is the laughter of a child these are glimpses of god all around us his signature is written everywhere but sometimes we miss it because we're just too focused on the way we expect him to show up it's like looking for a specific type of sign and missing all of the quiet ways he's already speaking to us god ultimately shows himself every day it's not just always in the way we might imagine it but he is there and he will always be there the third topic i want for us to tackle to understand this subject matter is god reveals himself through jesus one of the most powerful ways god has shown himself is through jesus christ in john first 14 to 9 jesus said anyone who has seen me has seen the father jesus came to this earth as the living breathing embodiment of god through him we see god's character his love his mercy his compassion and even his desire to be near us if you ever wonder what god is like look at jesus christ his life his death his resurrection they're all god's way of revealing himself to us he came to show us that he's not some distant far off person he's a god who came down who lived among us who suffered for us and who you know loved us so deeply you know jesus was god saying i'm here and i'm here with you 
and even though jesus is not physically walking on the earth today his spirit is the holy spirit is god's presence living within us guiding us comforting us and you know making himself known in ways that go beyond our own sight the fourth topic i want to tackle on is the value of seeking another reason god doesn't just you know show himself the way we want it is because you know there's value in seeking god god promises in jeremiah first 29 to 13 it says you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all of your heart god wants us to pursue him to seek him with all of our hearts not just you know casually or when it's convenient it's in that seeking that we grow you know and that we develop a deeper relationship with him and i know sometimes it feels like you know he's so distant away you know it's like the seeking is hard but it's during those times that our faith deepens think about relationships in your life you know the best relationships are the ones where you've invested the most time in the most energy and effort in when you've had to work for something it means more right the same ultimately goes for the relationship with god when you seek him we learn to hear his force more clearly each day we start to recognize his presence in the little things in the quiet moments and in the everyday experience of life the fifth topic i want to tackle on together is that god is not hiding he's waiting for you to open your heart Here's something that might surprise you. God is not hiding from you. He's not playing hard to get. He's actually waiting for you to just to open your heart and to truly invite him in. In the book of Revelation, first three to 20, it says, Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with that person and they with me. God has always been ready to reveal himself to us, but we have to just be willing to let him in. Sometimes we block ourselves from experiencing God, you know, because, you know, we're just too caught up in the doubt, the anger or the pain. You know, we get so focused on, you know, why he doesn't, you know, do things our way that we miss the ways he's already moving. So I encourage you today to start opening your heart more to God. Ask him to reveal himself to you and then be open to see him in ways you may not even possibly expect it. I know it can feel excruciating frustrating sometimes, you know, not seeing God in the ways we want, but don't lose, you know, heart. He's closer than you think. He's in the beauty of creation, in the life of Jesus Christ, in the quiet moments of reflection, and most importantly, he's within you through the Holy Spirit. When you stop looking for God with your physical eyes and start seeking him with your heart, that's when you truly start to realize you you level up you know like in call of duty you get the prestige 10 <laughs> that he's been there all along gently guiding you comforting you and loving you more than you can ever possibly imagine so in conclusion if you've been asking yourself why can't i just see god himself why can he just pff, right in front of me i want you to remember that he has shown himself and he's always showing himself every day just got to be patient you just got to keep seeking him and keep trusting in him and he is not far off as much as you think he is right there with you my friend thank you and god bless you for taking a few moments uh to check out this video i pray that this message hopefully resonated with you feel free to let me know in the comments uh or your experiences life advice just whatever if you want to continue the conversation we could do that in the comment section below and if you enjoy you know just seeking god and growing your faith don't forget to subscribe as we'll do many more video topics on this subject matter i'm adam representing team sos in case i don't see you on the next one make sure you have yourself a good morning afternoon evening and most importantly good night god bless you stay safe adam is signing off peace